which one is which muscle, like soleus? I know there's three different names. Um, yeah. So there is uh, gastrocnemius uh, lateralis here, <laughs> which is uh, like here, these two are, there are two different muscles, but they have um, a lot in common. So um, there are a lot of studies uh, explaining the different action of these two muscles. But um, for example, it's a um, muscle that we see, which is these two muscles are very developed in uh, cycling uh, experts and uh, athletes. So we see that if they go up in their toes, we can see the muscle very well uh, defined at the back. So gastrocnemius lateralis here, gastrocnemius medialis here. So this one, the red one, is uh, bigger than the green one. And then you have the third muscle, which is the soleus muscle, which is, you can see it's uh, below the green and the, and the red one. And if we look at the cut here, you can see the volume of this muscle, which is huge. So the soleus muscle is actually the larger muscle in the calf. Yeah, it's, uh, so if I'm looking at my data that I wrote, so the, the medial gastroc is a third of the, the triceps. So it means the red one is a third of the total volume of the calf. This one is 15%. So it's like mean data uh, done in uh, a lot of study. Uh, so we have, uh, we do actually in the lab uh, do uh, calculate uh, the muscle volume. So we did some studies on that, but you have a lot in the literature, so it's, uh, but it's mean data. About 15% the green part, and then you have the yellow part, which is 55% of the total volume of the calf. So it's really the largest um, muscle of the calf that you have. So of course, it depends a lot. These numbers depend on uh, the persons. It depends on the type of uh, training that you have. But in general public, it's about uh, this proportion. So here we can see that. In the future, we will be able to know um, which is the most responsible muscle, or if it's a combination of all the, these three muscles that is actually um, allowing us to play drums, like the, that's helping us to, to play drums, or do we already know? So, yeah, for the main results of the ankle technique, when we have like the oscillation of the ankle, the fact is that when the drummer is seated, it's in a position where the two uh, gastroc, so the red and the green one that we saw on the screen, they are in a shorter position because the drummer is sitting down and this muscle have also an action on, on the knee. So it depends on the knee angle, not the soleus. The soleus deep activation doesn't depend on the knee angle, but the gastroc, it's called the biarticular muscle because it can activate it can um, do a movement both of the knee and of the ankle. And the drummer is seated down, meaning that the knee angle is about 90, depends of course. Um, for the ankle technique, it's uh, not uh, in drummers, it's uh, not 90, but a bit uh, more. And in that position, it's not very, um, common to have gastroc activation. So we think that the soleus is the main activator of the ankle technique. And we did some ultrasound um, pre-imaging be before doing the protocol, just to be sure that we were imaging the right muscle. I, I actually started with the medial gastrocnemius because I didn't uh, think about the fact that it could uh, maybe not activate during the muscle and the fibers did not move a lot. So I was wondering, and I saw actually in the image that down below the, the, the muscle I was looking at, the soleus was contracting. So I was like, okay, so maybe I'm wrong. It, it, might, be, it might be only the soleus contracting during this moment. Interesting. And then on the front, of course, we have the shin muscle, which is... Um... Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't finish, but yeah, of course. <laughs> 
This one, the pink one, is the shin muscle. So it attached here on the top of the bra and over here. So that's like it looks from from above it looks even smaller than the green muscle or like. Yeah, it's a very small muscle. So that's why he's um, tired uh, a lot uh, fast, but uh, it's still a very, very important muscle. 